to see and David say, you my friend. <laughs> that friendship was holy. Everybody yeah, tried to teach you it, but it was holy. Mm -hmm. Second, speak. We're going with swimming. You got to write it. The back is clear. Write the vision. Make it plain. It's not for you. It's for the people you're telling so they can yeah. run with it. You got to be able to tell people, this is who I am. This is what I expect to do. This is what I believe in God for That's my life. Right. That's it. That's it. You have to write it and make it plain. I, I've been fortunate enough to do some national speaking things through Toastmasters and other things. And I'll say that you have to write your vision. You have to make it plain so that others can run with it. And people will come up to me after like, isn't that in the Bible? Well, I can't say that, you know, in certain things, but here I can say it. Right. Swim, SW. So you're going to speak it, you're going to write it. And if you pray, if you have to pray. Mm -hmm. If you pray, you got to pray. And pray ain't, you know, I pray in the car. Right. Yeah. I pray in the shower. Yes. Yes. I pray washing dishes. Yes. I pray. And prayer is just talking to God. God, what do you want me to do? Yes. Are you really telling me to do this? Yes. Lord, if, Moses said, listen, if you don't go with me, I ain't going. Right. I ain't going. I ain't going if you don't go with me. So you can say that, God, I can't do this if you don't teach me, show me how to do it. Now let everybody say this. How? How? Ain't none of my business. <laughs> How we do it ain't none of your business. All you need to do is ask him what is it that you would have for me to do. That's right. And let him download it. Ask him. Simple. This is how I pray. Lord, make it so simple that a child can understand. Yeah. Come into my dreams. Yeah. Give me signs. Let me read something. Let me see something. Do you understand? Yeah. Let him speak to you. Because each of us he's going to speak to differently. Yes. You gotta meditate on it. That's really what Selah means when you're in the Psalms. You gotta meditate on it. You gotta think about it. S, speak. W, write. I, if you pray, then you gotta pray. Ask him anything he said. Anything in his name. Listen, let me help y'all with something. If pigs can say to Jesus, don't send us back to hell. Just when he cast the demons out, send us into the water. I don't know if any of y'all believers in here. This is my first love is the gospel. Yes. And I was doing this before I got a doctorate degree. Don't play. Mm -hmm. That just gave me some access. Yes. If pigs that Jews don't eat, yeah. the pigs shouldn't even be talking to them. Okay. If they can say, don't send us back to hell. Send us into the water. And did he do it? Jesus did it. He did it. What more is he going to do for you? What more is he going to do for you? So you need to ask for whatever you want. So that's swim. And then he said, he said to tell you to do your best. Do your best. Whatever you do, do your best. You got to believe. Psalm says, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Can you give me one of those chairs real quick? Then you got to expect. B is believe. E is expect. S is stay at it. You got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it. If it's little by little by little, every day do something. I had to send some information to uh, TM, TMG and uh, something happened. And uh, Shamar said, why have, you know, I called you or something. I said, I was working on my outlines. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was like, diligently working. Don't have the contract yet, but be prepared. The word says that when opportunity, when grace and mercy have kids, that is your opportunity. Your opportunity and your preparation meeting. When, when grace and mercy have kids, he said the blessings come in Psalms. What you have to understand is you have to prepare and you wait on the opportunity to come. And when they kiss, there's favor. So believe. You believe. So believing is your mind. Everybody say, believing is my mind. So whatever I think on, that's what I believe. Okay. Trust is your heart. That's an emotional thing. Okay. You don't, you just very hard to trust anything that you don't believe in. Okay. So, and then faith is spiritual. So I believe that this chair was made, and probably underneath here says about how much weight it can hold. A little sticker under there, about, probably say about three or five pounds. So I believe that. I believe this chair can hold me. And because I believe it can hold me, I'm going to trust and I'm going to sit down. And so by faith, I'm going to cross my legs and wait. And I'm going to rest in God.
You have to do all three. We just think faith in the dumb, just be spiritual. Just be spiritual. No, 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 no. Whatever you believe in, whatever the thing is you believe in, we think it's enough to think on it. No, you got to trust that what you're believing God for will happen. So you believe, you expect, you stay at it, and treat yourself. Yes. Do your best. Treat yourself. Yeah. When you accomplish something, I don't care how small it is, go, go get you some hagen or something. Yeah. Get you a little payday or something. Yeah. Now, don't be spending all your earnings, right? But you got to treat yourself so you can continue to feel good, and you can look at that thing and say, yeah, I did. that's when I accomplished that. Amen? Yeah. So celebrate the little things and get rid of your negative Nancy's and your pessimistic Paul. Because oh. mm -hmm. they all around. Yeah. They all around. And the last thing, he said, get your swag on. So you're going to swim, you're going to do your best, and you're going to get your swag on. Okay? So and this is for free. Just act like you're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just act like you're going somewhere. Act like you're somebody when you walk in the room. Just, you know. Hello, my name. No. no. So you're going to get your swag on. So you're going to share your vision. You're not just going to speak about it. You're going to share it. You're going to share what it is you, you're expecting to happen in the future. I sit on my vision board at home, I have a picture of Steve Harvey. I have a picture of a whole bunch of people. I said, I'm going to meet him. He's going to be my boss one day. I have a picture of T.D. Jakes. He's my spiritual father. He don't know it. Joyce Myers is my mentor. She don't know it. They don't know it. But they are. And so I'm going to meet them all, and everything I said is going to come to pass. So when I slid him that book, I said, how you doing, boss? <laughs> <laughs> you know how you get them books. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you don't know. I declare it in your hearing. And since you don't have access to whoever it is or whatever it is yet, you just declare it. You want the Beamer? You want the Mercedes? Y'all need to go to the lot. Rub your hand across it. If you give me your driver's license, they'll let you drive it. Get help with what you need to develop your vision 
and go to the next level. I welcome you to uh, come and talk to me at the end. And the last thing we're going to say, what do we start out saying? What's in you? Great. 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 Amazing, amazing evening.